coral reefs are more than just a living outdoor aquarium. The fish on coral reefs especially represent the principal source of protein for around a billion people on the planet. So they're critical to the existence of tropical countries in lots of places. Climate change is happening. Reefs are in trouble. And if we don't do something about that, at some point in the future, it's kind of game over. My name's Andrew Brooks. My name is Darren Berkey Pyle. We're coral reef ecologists. Right now we're in French Polynesia on the island of Morea. And what we're doing here now is trying to understand how global stressors like climate change interact with local stressors like nutrient pollution, overfishing, sedimentation, and how we can manage these local stressors to help corals withstand climate change. is now the hottest year on record. And on top of that, we have what may be the largest El Nino ever on record. And so you get ocean temperatures that are just at levels that we haven't seen. Warm ocean temperatures is what tends to trigger coral bleaching. It's a sign of very serious stress. If the warm temperatures last for a long time, the corals stay bleached, then the corals die. 2016 is probably going to be the third worldwide coral bleaching event on record. The last major bleaching episode killed 20% of the world's corals. It's going to be tragic if the world loses another 20% of its corals due to climate change and El Ninos, but it'll be even more tragic if we don't learn anything from it.